today. My name is Rob Beko, and we're going to go over our oil pump and make sure it's within specifications and then tolerance to make sure that it's still serviceable. Today, we're going to use the oil pump right here from this Kubota D662 engine off a little tractor. Uh, the first thing what you want to do is after you take it off and disassemble it, you want to pull the internals out. And first you're going to check for scarring or any kind of abrasions on it, make sure there isn't no damage to it. After you look over the first part, pull the other one over, look it around, da 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 make sure there ain't no damage to it. Clean it off, because when you put it back together, you're going to want to re-oil it, make sure it's nice and clean so it goes back together nice and smoothly. After you clean it off, you're going to get some simple little clean uh, engine oil. Spurt it on there. Make sure it's nice and lubed up. Set that down for a second. Get some on here. Get it to where it's nice and lubed up, clean. Put it back in there. After you got that, you're going to set it back in its housing. Set it down. Take your hands off. Next, you're going to get your tool here. And you're going to, with your certain modification or your certain specifications, of course, you find out, you can find it from the Kubota website. And you're gonna use your specifications on this tool. As of right now, I don't know the specifications for this one, but I will show you how to use your flinging tool on your oil pump to make sure it's within. So once you know your specifications, you're going to pull the flange out that has the proper number on it. Once you pop, pop it out, the first thing you're going to do is let's say this was supposed to be zero, uh, zero 06. You're going to take that and you're going to pop it in there. And as you can see, it's not going to fit at all, which means I most likely need a smaller flinch. At this time, I don't have that, but you get the point. So after you do that, you get the one that's supposed to fit in there, you pull it out, you'll go the next size up, you go the next size up, and you'll try to put it in there, and of course it's not going to fit because it's not supposed to. So basically it's that simple. After you lube it all up, you get your measurements and everything, then you just reassemble it and you put it back on the engine block and you reassemble everything. And that's basically how you check your specifications on your oil pump. Thank you.